Firstly, if you've come across this video because there's an unfolding emergency after you or a loved one has drank bleach, you should seek medical attention straight away. Now with that out of the way, let's look at what happens when you drink bleach. Every bottle of toxic household chemical, including bleach, drain cleaner, furniture polish and window cleaner, comes with a prominent warning, do not drink. In bleach, the active ingredient is a salt-based chemical compound called sodium hypochlorite, a relatively clear liquid that's diluted with water and used to kill fungi, bacteria and viruses, and helps you make it through flu season in one piece. But sodium hypochlorite is also corrosive, meaning it can destroy human tissue. If you have accidentally drank a cup full, then don't panic. Most household bleaches contain fairly low concentrations of sodium hypochlorite, about 3 to 6%. That's not an endorsement for trying it, but for the average adult, you shouldn't expect anything worse than an upset stomach. However, if a lot has been drank or the concentration of sodium hypochlorite is well into double figures, then that's a different scenario. Symptoms range from gagging, irritation in the mouth and throat, pain, impossible burns in the esophagus and stomach, and vomiting. If you don't treat the symptoms immediately, you can permanently damage your gastrointestinal tract and internal organs, and depending on how much you drank, you can die. However, long-term damage and fatalities are uncommon, but it's still important to act quickly. First aid is to drink water or milk to dilute the bleach. After the ambulance arrives and you reach hospital, possible treatment measures could be a procedure to suck the contents of your stomach out through a tube. It is not advisable to induce vomiting because this can cause additional irritation and damage to tissue and may put the person at risk of breathing bleach into their lungs. Drinking bleach happens usually when a child accidentally drinks it. So why do children swallow bleach? Well, it's because it looks like water. Children will not like adults first sniff an unknown substance to figure out what it is. They just go for it and take a sip. Luckily, bleach is a terrible taste and most children never take more than a mouthful. This small amount of bleach may cause a number of unpleasant symptoms like nausea and vomiting, but it's usually not enough to cause any serious damage. So if you're a parent and your child has drank bleach, give your child about 150 to 200 millilitres of water or milk, less or more depending on the child's age. Rinse the child's mouth, take the container containing the bleach with you when you go to the hospital, and if you notice severe vomiting or difficulty breathing, your child needs immediate attention. The final thing to do is to take off all the clothes that might have spilled bleach on them. The fumes may upset your child and may make matters worse if they suffer from asthma. The bottom line is to keep containers with poisons away from children. It is your responsibility as a parent to ensure the safety of your child. More recently, there has been other cases of people drinking bleach deliberately in suicide attempts or people on YouTube doing it as a prank or dare. This is a whole other issue. To conclude, the results of drinking bleach depend on several factors, including the concentration, the amount of bleach ingested and the age of the person. But it's safe to say small doses in low concentrations are unlikely to cause any real harm. I hope you've enjoyed this video on what happens when you drink bleach. And if you have, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And whilst we're talking about bleach, I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to clean your toilet naturally. Thanks for watching and bye for now.